president just use a Bible, the most sacred text of the Judeo-Christian tradition, and one of the churches of my diocese, without permission, as a backdrop for a message antithetical to the teachings of Jesus and everything that our churches stand for. And to do so, as you just said, he sanctioned the use of tear gas by police officers in riot gear to clear the churchyard. I am outraged. He is not a man of prayer on Sunday morning, we know that. Um, and he has he is not one to worship at St. John's or regularly or any of the churches of our diocese. And let me be clear about it. he did not come to pray. He did not come to express uh, remorse or consolation. He did not come to share the grief or to provide hope to the thousands of young people who were gathered um, in the park that day. Um, he did nothing to say to them that your future is before you and I will protect you and do all that we can to make this country worthy of you. All the things that we need and deserve from anyone who is in leadership, spiritual or political at this time. He's not speaking uh, certainly for, uh, for the majority of the Christian faithful who listen to what Jesus says in the Bible, which is blessed are the peacemakers. And so to uh, use violence to remove peacemakers from in front of a church so you can hold up a Bible and say how great America is uh, while you're promising military action uh, against peaceful protesters uh, seems to me uh, to be the complete opposite of what Jesus taught. And so I think it makes a mockery uh, of Christianity. He might want to read some of the things that St. John Paul II talked about uh, in terms of standing up against racism, which he called a sin. Uh, in, in particular, his uh, desire for the church to stand with the poor, for people who are marginalized, for people who have no voice. Uh, and so once again, if he's going to use St. John Paul and a statue on the shrine as a backdrop um, for these policies, again, he is ignoring the legacy uh, in one case of St. John Paul II, in the other case, uh, more seriously, Jesus.